Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're getting to watch Wayne at Grover's Corner. Got my Rhodes 2 Bolo tie on. <clears throat> Today's fire video is not going to be out in the pit. Today's fire video is going to be an experiment, actually a test of, well, some have called them great heaters, fanless tube heaters, tube heaters. I don't know what you call it. You let me know what you think. All right, here's what I'm talking about. Uh, fireplace tube heater. We're gonna put this in the house, light it up, and see if any heat actually comes out of those pipes. They look great. They look beautiful on Amazon.com. And theoretically, if they do suck in cool air and blow out warm air into the room, our fireplace is downstairs and that is a cold downstairs. So I would like to see if this makes any difference. This was given to me by a client's neighbor. It had already been sitting on the side of the house. Well, the best I've seen about this one is gonna run at least between three to $600. So I wanna find out if it's gonna work. That's gonna be tonight's experiment. Welcome to the bat cave. This is the temperature upstairs, 68.9. But now that I brought this downstairs, it's going to show the downstairs temperature eventually. This sensor is here downstairs. So that's what it is right now before starting a fire. And that's what it is right outside the door. This sensor, and eh, make fun of me. I don't know where I put it. But this is what I was talking about. So, we'll that make more heat in this room hopefully even though this isn't super scientific with a couple of sensors in the room hopefully we'll show a difference and i am going to put a match in front of these and so we'll hopefully see if there's any actual airflow all right let's go all right for this test i'm going to use a couple generic fire logs for two reasons. One is they're very predictable and the other is smoke. Since we've lived here, can't predict the smoke in this place and I don't want to smoke out the entire upstairs. So, we'll be using two logs back to back. All right, let's light this fire. Nothing exciting here. And now we'll pause and wait to see what happens. Oh, that's a good looking picture. All right. I do want to take one moment out to say, please do like and subscribe. I really enjoy making YouTube videos and someday this might be my only residual income because I'm getting old. But hopefully these videos will always be worth watching. Something interesting, something entertaining, something educational. Okay, I want to do a little test. We're gonna light a match and see well, let's see if there's any air flowing out of here. Oh, come on. Okay. So later on, when this fire is raging, we will light another match. And I'm just trying to do a little bit of scientific testing to see if there's any actually airflow. No, it's not scientific, I know, but you know, what are you gonna call it? We're actually some results that we can prove. And let's check the temperature. I actually don't remember what it was earlier, but it was recorded. So now it's 62.1 in here. That's the, the center sensor that I have downstairs. 
this is 65.8, which is where wherever this whole sensor is, that's the temperature. These other three are sensors throughout the house or, or outside. So I do believe that went up, but that's the one about 15 feet to my right. And then this guy obviously on the mantle. Again, something to try and prove if this works. Some airflow out of those tubes and maybe an actual sensor that shows more heat in the room. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna turn on the gas and see if that helps. This is just for kicks, just to speed things up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, I was gonna say, when that sucker lights, it's gonna light. All righty. Well, that will speed up the uh, process, right? Okay, that's just kind of Dr. Evil fun right there. All right, as of now, you can still touch the pipes. Oh yeah, this one's even cold. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, I think you will be able to see this. You're gonna see the flame. You're gonna see the flame get blown out. You see nothing right here. See that? That shows. That is hot air shooting out. Pretty cool, huh? Now, how much more has it heated the room than if it hadn't, if I hadn't had that in there? I haven't got scientific proof. I'm gonna have to do more tests, but right now, so this sensor, which is 15 feet to my right, has gone up at least two degrees. This sensor has not gone up much, but it was warmer upstairs and way colder downstairs. And I brought this entire system down from upstairs. So the only real measurement that matters is what has gone up in this room. And that's two degrees. And we have proof that there's flow. Let's also check this out. Okay, so this is gonna show suction. See that? You got air getting sucked in. Woo! And hot air getting blown out. I couldn't hold it any longer, it's too hot. So I think it actually works. I think there's some adjustments where I would bring the entire contraption forward a little bit so that it was closer to the flush face of the fireplace so it would shoot out maybe even better. There are ones where it almost looks like there's a washer that's soldered in the end, which with a smaller hole at the end of the tube would create a Venturi effect, which would speed up the rate of the air coming out of the pipe, if you know the Venturi effect, which might actually cause the warm air to shoot into the room at a higher velocity, which might actually make it mix into the room better. So I think I'm gonna take it to my buddy Steve, 73 Forge, and have him solder on some washers so I can do more experiments. But I think the thing works. I suppose I'm gonna to have to do a test to heat up this room without it. But I've had a few fires down here and I'd say, yeah, it's helping. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.